guys. <clears throat> it's me again. Um, I just wanted to show you guys a couple of my new crystals that I got. Um, this is Vesuvianite. You can't really see the color, but it's a really pretty green color. It's a nice ch little chunk of Vesuvianite. Um, Vesuvianite is also known as Idocrase. I'm going to I'm going to read you guys what it says. Um, it represents cooperative effort and as such is a wonderful stone to present to newlyweds, business associates, friends, and acquaintances. Vesuvianite can be useful when needing to clear negative and or repetitive thought patterns from the mental and emotional bodies. Once these thought patterns have, have <clears throat> excuse me. Once these thought patterns have been cleared, the mental and emotional bodies will stabilize. Use Vesuvianite to remove or release pent-up anger and fears. Calming Vesuvianite acts quickly yet gently to help find balance when the emotions are in turmoil. Vesuvianite helps to connect the heart chakra with the spiritual realms, assessing the higher self and its connection to source, which is love. And that, again, was my Vesuvianite, if I can find where I put it. I'm not sure where I put it now. I hope I didn't lose it. Well, anyway, I showed you guys. It's a really pretty green stone. Um, next one I'll show you is my... He, nice little hematite chunk. It's pretty nice size. Um, and hematite is effective at grounding and protecting. Um, it harmonizes mind, body, and spirit. It's used during out of body journeying to protect the soul and grounds it back into the body. Um, hematite dissolves negativity and prevents negative energies from entering the aura, restoring peace and harmony to the body. It supports timid women, boosts self-esteem, enhances willpower and reliability, and imparts confidence. Hematite is a useful stone for overcoming compulsions and addictions, um, and it's a strong connection with blood. It supports, strengthens, cleanses, and regulates the blood supply. And that was my Vesuvianite. I mean, sorry, my hematite. Um, I also got a little Shiva Lingam. Um, and Shiva Lingams are named after the Hindu god Shiva. And they resonate deeply with the energies of the earth, yet they also carry strong energies of water, wind, and even fire. In fact, the fire energies of these stones is so strong that they are capable of activating kundalini and energies and charging the entire chakra system. For those who need a boost of vitality and prana energies, meditating or sleeping with a Shashiva Lingam is recommended. Esoteric legends suggest that there is a field of invisible knowledge in which the stored psychic energy of human ritual and belief may reside. When one makes connection to a portion of this field, one can tap into the energy of all the past consciousness that has contributed to it. Thus, when one works with a sacred object like a Shiva Lingam, one can receive the benefit of the efforts of all those who have used such stones in spiritual pursuits throughout history. And I think that's really awesome. And, so, and um... I don't know if you guys know this or not, but Shiva Lingams naturally come that shape. Um, they're not, they naturally come like this egg, long, elongated egg shape. Um, they're, they only come from one source and that's the Ganges. Uh, so yeah, I also have a chunk of black tourmaline that I got. And if you guys have seen my last, well, <laughs> if you guys have seen my last video, you know pr pretty much why I have some of these stones, um, why I got some of these crystals. There's my Vesuvianite. Um, yeah, so I don't have to go there again. But I just wanted to show you guys some of my new stones I got. Uh, I'm slowly trying to rebuild my collection of witchy items. 
Um, so yeah, video number two of the day. And I just wanted to show you guys that. And I want to show you guys how pretty it is out here today. It's very fall. Whoa, I'm dropping you. It's very fally. The leaves are all changing and leaves are falling. It's looking like fall, feeling like fall. The sun was out earlier, but it's not anymore. It's kind of chilly out here. And I'm getting gray. I'm getting old, you guys. I'm 33 now. I'm going to be 34 in January. But yeah, it's one of those days. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed my videos. Um, sorry about the first video. Like, I just wanted to let you guys know where I've been lately and what I've been up to. And I've always tried to be real with you guys and let you know what's going on in my life for those of you who give a shit. Um, I have some bird nests, too. They're kind of cool. The birds make nests in my, under my pavilion, my deck porch thing here all the time. Like, every spring they make nests. Then I gotta take them down so they can start and rebuild new ones. But I like to save them. I don't know why. <laughs> Some of them are really cool. Like this one has, this one has like blue in it and like sticks in it and stuff. This one's made almost entirely out of grass and moss. And this one's made out of mud and moss. But it's cool. All right, well, I'm going to get going, so have a good day, everybody, and I will see you guys shortly.